Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process to get you up and running with your new Roku, either Streaming Stick or Streaming Stick Plus. So what I like is with the new packaging, they now have the instructions right on the box that comes inside of the main box of the Roku Streaming Stick and Streaming Stick Plus. So what we're gonna do is follow these steps. Number one, right here, we're gonna plug into power. So in the back of our TV, we're gonna take our Roku Streaming Stick device and we're gonna plug it into one of our HDMI ports. And then we're gonna take the power cord and one end of this power cord, the USB Type-C, we're going to plug in to the USB Type-C port on the streaming stick itself. And then the USB Type-A, what we're gonna be looking for on the back of our TV is a USB Type-A port that we can plug into. And that's gonna give us power to this device and it's pretty nice if you have this option of a USB type A port on the back of your TV because then you don't need to plug this into a power outlet for it to get power but that is a backup option if you don't have a type A port in the back of your TV we can always use a wall adapter and just to show you what that would look like so a wall adapter would be something like this that you could plug into an outlet with a USB type A port again you could use that as a backup option for power if we're not able to find a USB type A port like this behind our TV. But I'm gonna take you over to the back of my TV so we can do step one in this process. On the back of my TV, I have a couple of HDMI ports that I can plug into, and I also have a USB port that I can use for power. So what I'm gonna do is plug in my Roku streaming stick into one of those HDMI ports. And then at the bottom of my Roku streaming stick where that USB type C port is, I'm gonna take this USB power cord and plug that in to my Roku streaming stick for power. And let's say for this example, I'm gonna use HDMI 3. So with my Roku streaming stick, I'm gonna plug that in to this HDMI port. The USB Type-C port we have plugged into our Roku streaming stick. The other end, the USB Type-A, we're gonna plug in to this USB port. And as soon as we plug it in, if this light turns on, that means that the power cord is working. So we're gonna plug this in. And we can see as soon as we plug that in, we get that light to show up. So everything is now powered on and ready to go to the next step. The next step in this process is gonna be selecting your TV input. So I had plugged into HDMI 3. You can plug into whatever HDMI port you want to on your TV, and you need to select that input on your TV so we can continue on with the setup process. It's gonna be a little bit different depending on what kind of TV that you have. You might have a TV remote that has either a source button, an input button, or maybe it even just has a straight up HDMI button that you can click on it to try to get to the appropriate source. I've got a smart TV, so it's gonna be a little bit different for me finding my HDMI input. It's gonna be over in my apps inputs, so I can find the tile right here. I can see it's labeled as HDMI 3, so I'm gonna open up that option by clicking OK on my remote. But if you don't have a smart TV, again, finding that HDMI input You'll use your TV remote and try to find a button that says either source or input or HDMI on the remote itself to get to the appropriate HDMI input that you're looking for. Now the next thing we're gonna do is jump into step three, which is setting up our remote. And first we're gonna take out this little battery tab here in the back so that the remote will power on. And once I do that, it's gonna be pairing up with my Roku player. I get the green check mark, so we're all good to go there. We're paired up and we can now use this remote. Select your language. I'm going to select English and click OK on that. Then you need to select your wireless Wi-Fi internet router to hook up to your internet. So once you find your Wi-Fi router, click OK on that. And then enter in your Wi-Fi password and then click Connect. And if you enter in that password correctly, you should, within a handful of seconds, connect up to your wireless router. And now we're successfully connected up to our internet. So the next thing we wanna do is update our Roku player. So we're gonna click OK on this. And your Roku being connected to your internet is going to allow it to update its software over that connection. And then it's gonna restart your device. And our Roku is now updated to the latest software version. So we're gonna click continue. And now it's updating the remote control. And now we're gonna go through the process of activating our Roku player. So if you already have a Roku account, just enter in the email that you've used to set up your Rokus before. Either way, we're gonna click okay on where it enters email. If this is the first time you're setting up a Roku, just enter in an email that you want to use for your Roku account. So we're gonna click okay on that. Again, enter in that email and then click continue. And after doing that, we're now gonna go over and check our email. Now heading on over to my email and Roku has sent me an email to activate my device. So I'm gonna click on that. And then from our activation email, what we wanna do is click on where it says activate device. 
And if you need to create a Roku account, they may prompt you to do so at this point, but I've already created a Roku account in the past, so it's taking me on to this page where it's welcoming me back. I can name my device and the location where it's gonna be. So it's gonna be in my living room, so I'm gonna select that option. And then you can look over the Roku products terms of use, and if everything looks good, you can check this box and then click continue. Then we're going to go through a handful of questions to complete this setup process. So it's going to ask me, do I pay for cable or satellite TV? I don't, so I'm going to click no. Then it's going to ask if you currently subscribe to any of these services. And basically what it's going to do is whichever services that you're subscribed to, it's going to download those onto your Roku device so that they'll be set up and ready to go for you to use. So select any that apply to you and then click continue. You can also go in and select interest to help build your channel lineup. So let's just say I'm interested in sports free movies and TV, and then we'll continue on to the next page. It'll give you some additional channels that you can add to your Roku's home screen. So you can go through and take a look at some of these different options and you can add them if you'd like to do that. Otherwise we can continue at the bottom. Additionally, it's going to give you some offers or free trials that you can take a look at. But if you're not interested in any of these, you can continue to scroll all the way to the bottom and then click continue. Setup for the device is now complete. You can manage your account preferences, subscriptions, and more at my.roku.com. So you can head on over to your account if you'd like to do that. From your account page, you have different options. You can change your account info. You can change or set up your payment and subscription options in your devices area. It's going to show all of the Rokus that have been hooked up to your account. You can manage them in that area. But now I'm going to take you back over to my TV to show you the finished product. So now back over on our Roku, we're all now set up and ready to go with our remote. If you would like to reorganize your apps into a different order, just whichever app you'd like to move on your remote, click this little star asterisk here next to the microphone to bring up a menu. And then we're gonna click okay on move app. And then we can move the app and click okay again to drop it where we'd like it to be located. If you would like to download and install additional apps onto your Roku, what you need to do is go to the search area. And in the search area, let's say maybe I'd like to add the PBS Kids application for that content. So I would start typing that in right here with my remote. So P B S. And then we can see that show up over here in our apps area. So going over there, clicking OK on PBS Kids, and then I can click OK on Add App. Then it's going to download and install that app onto our Roku. The app has now been added, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to head back to our home page and we can now find this in our apps area. It should show up down at the bottom of our list, which it does right there. And again, if you want to move it, just click the little asterisk on the remote to open up the menu. Click OK on move app and then you can drag and drop this wherever you want it to be located. Click OK and it will drop it in that area. Also, if you want to change any of your settings or take a look at any of that information, you can go down to your settings area. You can check on or change your network Wi-Fi internet connection. If you have a remote that you would like to add, you can do so in the remotes and devices area. You can add or change your payment method. There's just a bunch of different things that you're going to be able to do in the settings area. But that's going to wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the new Roku Streaming Stick and Roku Streaming Stick Plus. I appreciate you guys stopping by and consider subscribing for more content in the future.